guys welcome back to another low late night chit chat video so before we go ahead and get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and consider subscribing um joining the family we'd love to have you guys if you're already subscribed to the channel thank you very much for doing so we appreciate the support don't forget to like comment and share um yeah, so we're going to go ahead and jump into tonight's late night uh, chit chat topic. So it is currently um, 3 a.m. and I'm finally back home. We went on a little mini date. Um, if you guys checked out my shorts, you'll see we went to kind of check out the Christmas lights, just kind of drive by the park. Um, it's super cold, so I wasn't really trying to get out. But we um, were heading over to see my mother-in-law anyway so we had to drive by the park so that was pretty cool um i am i'm gonna try i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say if i'm gonna do it or not because it's really cold um but i'll try to you know i'll try to get the lights in a more in-person feel for you guys um we'll see how that goes but that's yeah that's the little neighborhood christmas light setup they do it every year um, it's sponsored by the bank and they really do go all out for the kids with the lights and stuff. It's really pretty. Um, last year they had like, a uh, hot, um, Tim Hortons hot chocolate truck pull up out there. They set up like a movie theater night. Um, people brought their blankets and stuff and they were showing, I think it was Home Alone or, um, one of those Christmas Carol movies and it was cool, but it was super cold. It was so cold. Um, we were not able to sit through the whole movie. Um, the lineup for the, the hot chocolate truck was like around the block cause it was cold, but it was nice. It was, it was a, it was a cute gesture and it was enjoyable. Um, so we'll see what happens this year. And yeah, so tonight's topic I wanted to talk about was it's something that happened in the news um, a couple of days ago. And there's been so much going on with me that I didn't really I put a pin on it and I said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about it because it ties into just how I move as um, a content creator now that I wanted to explore a little bit more into this city on my own. Um, this has really kind of made me take a step back. Um, so I'm going to explain to you guys what happened. For those of you who are not in Canada, you may not have um, heard about it um, you may not get our news or what have you so basically this was on the news like I said a couple of days ago um, two women were attacked by a 52 year old man who um, basically stabbed them um, one of them died she was like 35 and one of them survived she's in hospital I believe in critical condition um, and the thing that was the most scary is that it was broad daylight and they were complete strangers like he had no there was no underlying motive do you understand not that there ever is a justification but sometimes there's a correlation it's an ex it's a ex-boyfriend it's a stalker it's a somebody who you rejected it's like there's usually some type of relationship or connection to the victim this was just random like he just attack the women on the subway this is the next most scariest part of it it happened on public transit um which has become a trend lately um we're hearing more and more every day about more people being attacked on public transit when i was growing up we would hear stories like our mother used to always tell us do not stand close to the yellow line make sure you stand with your back against the wall um, because people had a tendency to push people into the train tracks, um, especially so you're frequent in downtown Toronto. There are a lot of mental health facilities and issues going on, as you have with many major cities. Um, anyone who lives in a major city can relate to all of this that I'm saying. Um, so you have like a mixture of homeless people, 
um, people who are battling mental addiction, um, substance abuse, um, addiction, mental issues, all of that kind of just thrown into the regular mix and everyone's just kind of mixed in and going about life. And every now and then paths will cross and you'll hear something happen. But it was like, it was very, it was very random. Nowadays, it's becoming more and more of a trend where people are being just randomly attacked, pushed in the subway, pushed in the train tracks, kicked down the stairs, attacked with weapons. Um, couple it was a couple months ago I was talking to you guys about um, an incident that occurred um, where the person was shot, like this person was going around shooting people at the subways and they finally caught that person and so that was pretty scary nobody knew who this was it was just randomly um just randomly killed uh, a couple of people over the weekend and people were freaked out and then you know like it is in most major cities you get on with life life goes on and now we're having like another attack this one like it was just so brutal and for no apparent reason and it just really kind of freaked me out because it happened on the subway and here i am thinking okay you know what i even had tickets to go to the museum i didn't go um because i just don't feel safe traveling on the subway like i don't want to take the subway i don't really want to go into the city i don't really want to I don't really want to do any of that. And that's really, that's really um, sad for me because um, uh, that was part of my whole New Year's thing was to kind of explore more um, into the city on my own. Um, now when I go into the city, Bay drives me or like I go with my daughter. We usually take the subway, but we're not really on the subway. That's the thing. So we take our... Um, the bus that we take into the city, it's like the Greyhound. If you're in the States, then you understand the Go bus. It's like the Greyhound. So it's like a big, huge bus. Um, has its own terminal and everything downtown Toronto. And it's connected to this huge kind of underground um, system, kind of like um, Grand Central. Again, referenced in New York because Toronto is like um, is like New York City very much so. So just the way that 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 Central Grand Station is designed, it's the same way Union Station is designed, and it's connected to all these different places. Like um, it's connected to where we went to watch the Raptors. It's connected to the Rogers Center. It's connected to um the uh ripley's aquarium like a lot of things interconnect in that space so there's like a lot of people you have trains going to the united states you have trains going all over canada you have buses coming going people it's like a huge intersection of people just every day just um hundreds of thousands of people just coming and going daily right so um There's a lot going on down there. Um, there's already a heavy police presence because of the whole terrorism threats and all that other stuff that's happened. You guys already know how that is. Um, so there's a lot going on. And now you throw this stuff into the mix. You don't know who is who. You don't know who's sitting beside you. You don't know what's going on. It's like there's a lot going on. So even though when we go to Union Station, we don't exactly go onto the subway. Um... We're still in that vicinity and outside of the station you have downtown Toronto and then you have all that other stuff that goes on. So it's just one added thing that I have to now worry about and this is the most scariest. Like I grew up in the city. I was never afraid to go anywhere in Toronto. I've traveled. I've been I've lived in the city my whole life like for before we moved out the suburbs of course my whole when i say life i mean from the age of 10 um when i came to canada which was back in 1989 so i've been here for a really long time um 30 something years right so i grew up in the city um i've never been afraid 
of being in the city, we always pride ourselves on being very kind of street smart. And you got that kind of tough inner city, you know, that tough city skin. And, you know, but lately, I don't know if it's because I've been away from the city for so many years. Um, I don't feel that's it because I don't I've never lost my instincts like i've always maintained that side of me um so i don't really feel it's because i don't live in the city anymore i just feel it's because things have gotten really bad um and now it's like just out in the open and not in a not in dark little alleyways and stuff like that anymore not tucked away where you're not seeing it um where it used to just be in front of the McDonald's, you have like the homeless people and you may have like somebody coming up to you and asking you for money while you're eating or something like that. That would be like your, that would be like your interaction with the homeless for the day, right? Now you have, since the pandemic, um, you have all types of people now who are outside, who are, you know, um, since COVID, may not have had access to their mental health facilities or their treatments or they could no longer afford their treatments all type of things are happening and it's manifesting itself in all type of different ways now the attacks against women have increased um they've always been there but they've gone up a notch enough for me to take stock of it um so like i was saying i just I'm just like, oh my goodness, now I'm going to be even more stressed and worried about going into the city. But can I, it's like one of those things where you're like, are you going to let that stop you from living or from exploring or from, like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about, I don't know if I'd be able to answer that question honestly. Because if I was to honestly answer it, I would say yes, it would it would definitely stop me. I'm the type of person who would just I would just wouldn't it's just not worth it for me. Um, I'd have to find some other way to kind of move around and do what I need to do because for me right now, taking the subway is a no go. Um, that's not something that I wanna do. Um, I don't even want to, I don't want to be on a, enclosed in a subway underground with any, with, with anyone, um, at this point in time, too many things are occurring. Um, and I just, I don't know, do I want to say, um, I'm going to create content no matter what, like is content more important than my safety? No, absolutely not. So that's just something, you know, as a female, um, you want to be, out and about in these big cities and you want to move, you know, how you want to move and you want to be free to do what you want to want to do. But when you see things like this, you have to kind of take stop and be like, okay, we need to kind of rethink what we, how we do things and, and, um, uh, prioritize, um, our exposure to certain things. Like if it, if it's not something that has to happen, how about we just not do it? So, um, I don't know. We'll see. They did catch the person that is important to mention. Um, he is charged. I think, yes, murder and attempted murder. Of course, the person passed away. So, yes, he was charged with um, murder. But that's just like the tip of the iceberg because there are so many individuals like that person. Um, you just never know who is who and what day and what will trigger and all these things. I just real, I just, it's just so crazy to me to hear these stories and to, to see them when they show us the video footage of the people doing the heinous acts. You're just like, oh my God, like that could be me. Um, I definitely don't stand with my back exposed at the train station i find a wall and i lean up against it um but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean it could be anything else you could be just minding your business um and somebody just attacks you this reminds me of these stories that you hear coming out of certain places in europe where people are sitting on the bus or train and they're just attacked by like person because of racial or sexual orientation or whatever the case may be people just um are being physically attacked 
Um, that's not something that we've ever had an issue with, but now it's becoming an issue. So that's definitely something to, you know, to think about and to adjust to um, and to be aware of. So, yeah. But anyway, I don't want to kind of, I don't want to go on and on about it because I'll work myself into a frenzy. Um, I just wanted to kind of come and vent that out with you guys, talk about it. Um, this is something that, I don't know, it's just, this is the world that we live in now. Like, you have to be very aware of your surroundings and you have to watch the people around you. Um, you have to watch them, any sudden mood changes any sudden any type of energy change anything that happens I already I think I mentioned this in a in a story time before I was doing um when people when I'm on the train especially downtown if I'm on the train and someone comes on the train and they're acting neurotic um not neurotically sorry erratically or they're getting they're giving off an energy that is just unsettling I will get up and get off the train um, like I don't even care. I will wait for another train. Um, sometimes I might walk to another car. I may go a couple cars back or sometimes I might just let the train go. It depends on the level of uneasiness because some people do give you those, those red flags. Like they, you can just see something is off. And then there are other people who you would never, ever, ever, ever know. Like there's so many stories I could tell you guys of craziness that's happened in the last couple of years on transit um private transit public transit like people just doing um things that are you would have to be like okay this person is mentally unstable just the just the heinous act itself just the the the, the just the gruesomeness just the the things that are being done it's just like yeah these people are definitely uh, mentally ill and um so now we're calling for more um they're calling for more public um public transit officers more people in uniform more everything more security just more of a presence in the subways like i don't know if it will deter anything it might it's worth a try because people will get scared and they don't want to take this the subway what's going to happen that's like one of the the um that's one of the most important ways that people get around in the city. If you live in a big city, you know how important public transportation is to get from point A to B. Um, and you don't want that, you don't want that fear surrounding that service. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's something that the government um, and the um, police and people will take care of that's responsible for that for the city. But something needs to be done to kind of reassure riders that they're going to be safe when they take the public transportation so anyway guys that's going to go ahead and wrap up my little mini chit chat if you um if you've heard of stories like this maybe in your city it's something you're aware of or familiar with um let me know in the comment section um what you guys do to keep safe when you do ride public transit um any um tips or suggestions anything that you guys might do um for anyone who else who's feeling like this um if you're feeling a little nervous apprehensive about traveling on the subway because of the recent things that have been happening what are you doing to cope how are you getting past it all that good stuff leave it down um in the comment section down below Thank you guys for listening. We appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to um, share. Don't forget to take part in the Vlogmas giveaway if you guys want to take part in that. Um, all you have to do is comment hashtag Vlogmas on any of our videos. Message me on Instagram, hashtag Vlogmas, um, and leave your video ideas. Um, and yeah, we'll be doing... We'll be announcing the winner for that over the Christmas, so stay tuned for that. Um, we do have the, it is Vlogmas, yes, and I do have an announcement to make for the um, for the new subby giveaway. Um, I've been waiting to make that announcement, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So you guys stay tuned for that. We do have a couple things 
to announce on the channel um right now we're focused on vlogmas um and so yeah if you guys want to take part in that definitely go ahead and do so the new subby giveaways will be coming back in the month of december well i said in the month of december oh my god bear with me it is literally what time is it it's 3 17 a.m um, it's coming back in the month of January. I'm super excited. Shout out to all of our new subscribers. Um, we'll be telling you guys more about that. But like I said, we do have one more new subby giveaway to do for, um, for all the people who have been here from day one. There is one person. She's super supportive. Um, and I definitely, um, want to go ahead and acknowledge her um she's never won the new subby giveaway before so definitely stay tuned for that we'll be making that announcement sometime during vlogmas okay so i think that's gonna wrap it up i'm gonna do um the post notification shout out and first notification shout out is gonna go to sass shout out to you thank you for all of your support um we definitely appreciate you. Um, let's see who else. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm just gonna go through and like some of your um, interactions here. Thank you for all of your support. Um, like I said, we definitely see you. We definitely see you. Um, I want to. I want you to message uh, me on Instagram. I want you to take part in the giveaway. Um, you've you have not messaged me on Instagram, um, and I really, I really want to um, include you in the giveaways because um, you're such a terrific supporter. Um, if you don't have Instagram, um, that's fine. Let me know. Leave me a message. Um, if you have Facebook. Or just leave me a message under this video. Um, but I do want to acknowledge you. I do want to acknowledge you. So shout out to Sass. Um, thank you for all of your support. You've always been a day one supporter. And yeah, so shout out to Shamil Factor as well. Um, thank you for always supporting. We appreciate you. Um, shout out to Blythe Maine. Um, thank you as well for being another longtime supporter. We appreciate you. Shout out Medieval Rain. Um, shout out to Tierra Boom Boom. Um, we appreciate you. Shout out to Mahalika. Um, we appreciate you as well. And I think that's going to do it for the shout outs for this video. Um, yeah, so stay up and stay blessed, guys. Until next video, definitely, definitely stay safe. Deuces. Yeah.